Hilda, did you clean the basement yesterday? What? No, I didn't. Well, don't forget to clean it today. Robert just died yesterday and you want me to clean? Hilda, would you listen to your mother for once? Please don't disturb your grandfather. You know he's tired. Okay. October 10, 1939, we found another disgusting family of rats. I don't understand why they want them alive if they are just meaningless rats. We were ordered to shave their beards. I had to stop myself from vomiting. You're lucky we did not kill you. You rats deserve nothing. You sucker! I never felt so alive. I finally know my place in this world. Hilda, I don't hear you cleaning. But I am, mom. April 7, 1940. I have been working here for months now. This past Friday, I saw a woman, the beautiful kind. She was walking on the sidewalk on one of the main streets. She was stunning. I didn't even realize that she was a Jew until she was pushed to the ground by one of my fellow mates. I did something I'm not proud of. I came to her and said, get up disgusting you. It seemed wrong, but that was what I had to do. Please don't hurt me. Are you alright? Why do you care? What's your name? Your name, please. Helena. Fine. Take this. Look for me if you're in trouble. Grandpa? Um, I, I found a notebook in the basement and I... Uh, I'm not in the mood, Hilda. Just leave. Why aren't you doing homework? I am. You betcha be.
July 20, 1944. I'm running away with Elena. Elena, quickly. I'm sorry. We must catch a train. Are you sure of this? We don't know if we will make it. We will die. You will be sent to the front line and I will be sent to a concentration camp. That's exactly where we have to go. Now come. We must be fast. Dear Hilda, I'm sorry you have to go through this. I never meant to hurt you, but I couldn't take it anymore. The guilt was sitting me away. I know that you found the journal, and as you may suspect by now, it belonged to me. Your grandma was Helena, and I'm Ludwig. We changed our names when we ran away, as you probably read in the journal. Days ago, your grandma found the journal. We argued. She was mad that I kept it all these years. But I kept it only as a way of reminding myself of what I have done. I swear that I didn't mean to push her that hard. She failed. You know the rest of the story. Please forgive me. I'm not the person that I was back then. At the time, I thought I was doing the right thing, but now that I look back at what I've done, I realize that they were atrocities. I'm sorry. Never forget I love you, Grandpa. Uh, Grandpa, I, I want to ask you if 